All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, although you can set default headers using the Fetch API, there is another framework that you can use to set the default headers much easier. And that framework is called Axios, but Axios is not really built into the browser, so you will need to install it. So let me go ahead and stop my client side server. You can see that I'm inside the client folder. And now I can say npm install Axios. Axios is very similar to the fetch library and you will see the syntax is a little bit even more compact. Now let's go ahead and run the server. So notebon app.js. Great. In order to use Axios, we will first need to import Axios. So let's go ahead and import Axios from Axios. And now wherever you are using the Fetch API, you should start using Axios. So let's go ahead and start with this part, which is the actual login part. I'm going to go ahead and say axios.post because we are posting some sort of a URL which we already have. There we go. The second argument is the actual object that you want to post. So in this case, username will be credentials.username and password will be credentials.password. You can actually put the whole credentials object in there if that is what you want to do. That is also fine. Dot then, it is going to give us a response. And let's go ahead and print out the response. You can see that I'm not really calling another promise response or JSON because that is for the fetch API. We are now using Axios API. And also for the catch, we can go ahead and catch an error if there is any error. And we can go ahead and say, log it on the console. Let's go ahead and comment out our fetch API over here. So all of this stuff that we're doing inside the fetch API, we can comment this out. And the reason is that now we're using Axios. Okay, so now let's go ahead and perform the request and see what happens. I'm gonna say John Doe, password is password, and I'm gonna to try to log in. And I get back a result. Now, when Axios is giving you the result, it will put everything inside a property called data. So your actual result that is coming from the server is inside a property in the response, which is called data. So if I go ahead and say response.data over here, I should be able to get the token or anything else that is being sent by the server. That's just their concept of the response. Uh, that's just how they send it out. Perfect. So it's working pretty much like before. We got the success response and we got the token. Once we have the token, we should be able to use it. We can go ahead and save it. So over here we can say if response.data is available, then we can go ahead and put it into the local storage. We can get the token out, constant token equals to response.data.token and next we can go ahead and put it out. So local storage token. All right, so this is great. We can now remove the fetch request because now we are using Axios. Now make sure that if you're using one or the other, if you're using a fetch API, then start using fetch API in your complete app if you're using Axios and start using Axios. I mean, you can use, technically you can use both of them, but since we will be working towards 
creating some sort of uh, default headers for Axios, it is recommended that you should use Axios if you want to add default headers. Now, another thing that we want to do when we are logged in correctly and apart from putting the token in the local storage is to set default headers. What does that actually mean? When default headers mean that you're only going to set the headers when the person is logged in and then every single request that you will be sending to the server, those headers will automatically become part of it. So you don't have to do this anymore, anywhere else. All right. Now let me go ahead and put this into a separate place. I'm going to go and see if we can go ahead and create probably a utils folder over here, which is stand for utility. But you can name your folder anything you want. Okay, inside the utils folder, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new file and I will call it authenticate dot js but you can name it anything you want the whole point of authenticate dot js is to set the authentication header using xcs so the first thing we will do is we will use or import xcs from xcs next i'm going to go ahead and create a function and i will call it set authent authentication header where I'm passing in the token. If the token exists, meaning you're not really passing in nil, then we will use xcs.defaults.headers.common and then we will set the authorization header. And now we can set the token, just like you have done before. So bearer and the actual token value which is token else well probably you don't really have the token so we will go ahead and delete it so we will use a delete axios dot defaults dot headers dot common and passing in the authorization We want to call this set authentication header function from outside, so we will go ahead and export it also. Perfect. Now let's go back to our app.js. And inside the handle login, once we get the token, once we also set the local storage, we can go ahead and call set authentication header. You can see that if I press enter over here or return key, it will automatically import on the top. So I didn't really have to manually import anything. And we will go ahead and pass in the token. And that's it. This means that once you are logged in successfully, for the Axios default headers, we are going to set the token. And any every time we are going to use Axios to perform a request, that token will be part of the headers. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Instead of using the fetch API over here, I'm going to go ahead and start using different API, which is the Axios API. So I'm going to use Axios. And Axios does provide you obviously the get functions also. So let's go ahead and use a get function dot get we can go ahead and get the actual request. So let's go ahead and copy this part. There we go. I'm just going to remove the token part because the token will automatically be set once you're logged in. So we don't really want to set it again and again now. We're going to fire dot then. Let's go ahead and first see. which is over here, sorry, dot then. We will get some sort of a response. We can say console.log response 
or if there is any error, we can also attach it to the error and say that's a, not mandatory, but it's a good idea to use error also. This means that if there is any error thrown from the server, we can catch it on line number 42. Okay. Well, let's go to the network tab because network tab is a great way for us to see if our token is attached or not. And we are using XCS because we set the default headers for the XCS, not fetch. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to log in John Doe. The only reason I'm logging in is so that the credentials property is populated. Log in. Now let's go ahead and click get all accounts. And we got all the accounts and our authentication header, authentication stuff is being sent. So this is great. I mean, this has really saved a lot of typing and a lot of repetitive setting the headers again and again. Now we can go ahead and delete the fetch API stuff and start using XCS. So if I want to get the profile, I will simply use XCS to get the profile. I will copy pretty much this code and we will get the profile. And there we go. I didn't really have to set any token, anything. And the reason is that that has already been set up by the set authentication header function. And every time I'm going to use XCS to perform a get request or a post request, the authentication header will, will always be part of it. Now at present, our application is just one single component. It would be a good idea to update our app so that we have multiple views or multiple components so we can go from one component to a different component. So let's go ahead and in the next lecture, we are going to integrate the React Router DOM. We're going to create a base layout, some sort of a dummy menu so that we can go from one page to the other. So let's go ahead and do that in the next lecture.